Hello and well- oh, I don't even have the box. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am here for the October Beacon Book Box unboxing. Hopefully this one will go better than last month's, uh, or at least the last Beacon unboxing that I did, the Blood and Honey Box, was a smashing success, even though it was a temporary failure on technology's side. Uh, you guys really liked my voiceover, so... Hopefully this one will go better, but at least now I know if I have issues with the audio, y'all appreciate me just doing bad lip reading for myself in videos, so that's always going to be an option now. So, here we go. Duty Calls is the theme for October. This is what the box looks like. Let's get into it. Okay, first thing. This thing that is sitting on top that is wrapped in crinkly plastic. Let me take it out real quick. So this... Ooh, what is this? Is this like a really big scarf? I'm seeing gears, a hand, spaceships, and crowns. I'm going with Lunar Chronicles. Is this not Lunar Chronicles? It could be literally any other thing. Oh, there's also a foot. Is that Cinder's foot? I don't know. What is this? It's a Lunar Chronicles inspired scarf. You know what that means. I'm gonna be fashionable for the rest of this video. It's inside out, you guys can't even tell. Fashion is not my strong suit, can you tell? <laughs> but look at the pattern, this is beautiful. So we have that, we have, ooh, what's this gonna be? We've got a pouch, this is Zealy's Magic Fuel, and this is from Children of Blood and Bone. I remember that name, everything's coming back. Children of Blood and Bone inspired medium roast coffee. This is from Caribou, which I've had coffee from them before. It's usually amazing. I am going to rip this open so that I can smell it because uh, I love the smell of coffee. Big fan. <sighs> it smells like coffee. <sighs> it smells like good coffee. It smells like a medium or a dark roast. It's, oh, it literally says medium roast. I said that out loud, didn't I? That's not embarrassing. Okay, next we have, I'm assuming this is going to be the ornament because it's in an ornament shaped box. Live a life worth dying for, which is what's on the front, which is also what is going to be on the glass etched ornament. So that, I don't know if it's gonna be easier for you guys to see it on that or on the lid, but that is what the ornament looks like. It has like kind of a circuit board looking uh, pattern. And I'm assuming that is Illumine inspired. Is it? It is. Illumine Files uh, Obsidio inspired ornament. Next we have a candle, I'm assuming. Investigations in Whitechapel. Fog, chai tea, and crackling fire. Made by Novelty Yours Candle exclusively for Beacon. I am intrigued by the chai tea part of this. Ooh! Ooh, this is... This is unlike any scent that I've ever gotten in a book box before. It's a very mature scent. It's like a spicy, woodsy, slightly musky scent, but it's like, like you can smell the chai tea in there, which I adore. I literally just drank a chai tea latte five minutes ago. And if I remember correctly, Whitechapel is Stalking Jack the Ripper inspired. Let me check the card. Yes, yeah, Talking Jack the Ripper, Investigations in Whitechapel Candle from Novelty Yours, which is what this is. So there we go. We have a candle. And next I'm seeing the book sleeve, which I love their Halloween prints. Look at that fabric. It's like almost kind of a vintage looking Halloween print for the book sleeve and it's black inside. The book is in there as well. But look at this. This is beautiful. Love it. All right. What do we think the book is? Let's see if I can face it towards you. I think I see the back. What is this? Crown Chasers by Rebecca Coffin. Coffin Daffer. Coffin. Coffin Daffer. Coffin. No clue. Um, this cover is great though because it has like the orange and it has like stars and galaxy looking things out here. But the actual silhouette of the girl has this awesome space fight that's happening. I'll zoom in so you can see it, but that is so cool looking. They can make the rules, but they can't make her follow them. Ooh, look how cool that looks. So this is like chick's face and it goes down and this whole scene is happening in her silhouette. How cool is that? All right, so usually in here, yes, we have a letter from the author to Beacon Readers, which is in there. And then pretty much almost every book from Beacon at this point comes signed. So, ooh, it's in a gold Sharpie find new stars. I love her handwriting. Her handwriting is so cute. 
I'm a huge fan. What do we think it's gonna look like naked? I hope orange. Oh, darn it, I just saw it. It's black. Man, I was really hoping for this like vibrant orange color because that would make some awesome bookstagram pictures. Ooh, the author letter has me really excited to read this. Um, I'm not gonna read the whole thing to you, but it basically says, at the center of a galactic empire that spans 1,001 planets and hundreds of alien races sits an empty throne and you have the chance to claim it. And our main character, Alyssa, thinks that she already knows the answer. No, she doesn't want it. She wants to live the life that she is. But of course, it's not that simple. So blah, 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 things happen. So it finishes with, so there the throne sits, the fate of Trillions at stake, and they're awaiting your decision. Are you ready to take the crown? So it sounds like she doesn't really have a choice with taking the crown, even though she doesn't want it. That sounds, well, it sounds like a YA sci-fi book, to be honest, but it sounds like one that I would really enjoy. Let's see, what do we have in the bottom as far as paper goods go? I'm guessing this is going to be the recipe. Yes, Duty Before Self, Kingdom Before King by Tomi Adeyemi. This is Tres leches milk cake. Interesting. That's not something that I've ever made before. So that will be fun to make. We have a recipe card on the back of that. And then we have the girl and the dragonfly available now on Amazon. Profits will be donated to the American Liver Foundation. There you go. So that's like a feel good swaggy thing. And then we also have a 25% off code for an ebook that is Dear Hero, apparently. So those are the paper goods that are in the bottom of the box. And that is the October uh, Beacon Book Box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I liked this orange aesthetic that we had going on for the Halloween season. I'm a fan of how this box came together. So that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.